though, is the final of the Cockney Darts Classic between two new faces. At least on television they are anyway. Dave Askew and Steve Smith. Now, Askew's tour de force was his destruction of Steve Brown, the 1986 and 87 Cockney Classic champion in the semi-final. As for Smith, well, he removed Andy Waugh in the quarter-final. Andy, the 19-year-old, highly fancied by some anyway to win the trophy. A little bit of bodybuilding works wonders. Steve's not there on a wing and a prayer, not likely. He's been polishing up his act and getting into gear for a sparkling finish. No indicators yet, but he's in the right lane. Time for Dave Askew to get into the driving seat, clocking on for a carriageway duel. Not to say a dual carriageway. And take no notice of the company name, his foot's on the accelerator. So, a packed house, a crackling atmosphere, £2,500 for the winner. Time for me to call on the darters, I think. Dave Askew and Steve Smith. First leg, first set, Steve to throw first. Game on. Best of five sets now, each set having best of three legs of 501. Steve Smith with the first darts. 60. David Askew, not without support here at the Sunbury Ex Servicemen's Club. Aiming to be the new Cockney Classic champion. One! And with the right to challenge the man sitting by my side, as always, Eric Bristow, to add colour and analysis in his own inimitable way. Eric, any form lines between these two? Should be a good game. I'm looking forward to it. Um, no player's got any excuse, have they? 60! Got a nice long form out here. Five sets, three legs a set. First set's very important. Settle down. Well, this man, Askew, really is, is the form man, the quality man, although we have seen that Smith has that terrific kind of sort of pub, you want. pub resilience and banks and, and, and durability. That's right, yeah. I was very impressed the way he played in the, in the last eight against Andy Waugh. When the guy played well against him, he, he came back. Yes, Smith has beaten Andrew Waugh, emerging force, and Nicky Turner from Peckham. 100! Just looking at this in these final stages, Dave Askew has beaten Brian Barnard. And then he had a real nail biter with the twice former holder, Stephen Brown of Carl Shelton, in the semi final before triumphing. 60. First leg for the pair of them, really just getting their arm going. It's, it's, it's nice if you get it. If you win the first leg, it's great, but you won't worry about it if you lose it. That maximum will if Smith. Always good to get the psychological blow in early. 54. Steve requires 101. I don't know which way he's going to go. 81, 45, double 18. He's got, uh, he leaves 62, he goes treble 10 and leaves double 16. He's got loads of time anyway. 49, he's left score. 52. So many different permutations in this game. Askew resting back on 246. That 180 from Smith really has uh, set him up for this leg. 100. <laughs> Speed requires 52. In the semi-finals, he was going 12 tops, wasn't he? Now he's going 20 double six. <laughs> Thirty-six score. Game requires one hundred and forty-six. Be a nice shot, though. Out needs to travel twenty. First start and has just fallen a bit short. Sixty. Steve requires sixteen. He's had darts at this double and will be anxious to kill it off here. Yes, first leg. Steve. Smith. 
19 darts eventually, first blood from the Hertfordshire County player Second from where? Right, Askew really has got to start motoring now. What a minute! That is overdrive, and that also sets up the possibility, and we'll whisper it very gently, the possibility of a minimum nine dart checkout, which would be worth an extra £25,000. He needs another 180 or 177 anyway. So, tension in Sunbury. Just below the wire. Disillusion. Tis. 60. It's great though, isn't it? We've just had two shots each in the second leg. Well, two shots and one. And there's been two 180s already. This shows you how much this tournament has progressed over the years. If we saw one in the final, the first year would have been heavy. Yes, the quality improves 85. year by year. This, of course, the seventh staging. Eric Bristow has to uh, defend sponsorship money just a little later on in the tournament. 2,500. The winner of this match can double that prize. 45. But Eric Bristow, it's fair to say, is not in the mood to play Father Christmas. That's for sure. Eight. He won. He's clawing his way back slowly here, isn't he? They've started off brilliant with a 180, but hasn't he anything afterwards? Fifty-five. We had over 4,000 players starting off on the trail of this 1989 John Bull Bitter Cockney Classic. We're down to the last two. Eighty-five. They requires 161. Always a pretty shot, Eric, if he can manage it, 161. That's right, yeah. He can't do it now. He'll be pleased to hit a ton here. 60. He hasn't hit a treble since the 180 first shot. Steve's just slowly clawing his way back. Nice 140 here for a life out of him. 140. Dave requires 101. Dave goes treble 19 here, I think. 81 left. Must come out. Left 66, can't go out now. Well, he went for ball double eight. Is it a scores. 17 left Steve 49? Steve requires 67. For the first set, this one. Yes, this could wrap it here on 67. Well, once the ball, 18 perhaps. Yes, double 16 now for this first set. 51 score. Steve requires 49. 49, 17 should almost certainly be the first target, leaving double 16. Next door in eights. 41. Audibly clip the Steve wire. Requires 16. Inside the wire, double four remaining. 12 score, Dave requires 8. Well, we've got to hit these doubles, and uh, the nervous tension showing through there now. Askew with a chance to get yeah. back in and takes it. Third leg, it's Steve to throw first. Game on, please. Well, Steve here, Eric, uh, can ill afford to miss doubles as quite so freely as he did last time. Askew is a quality player and will take advantage. 100! That's right, yeah. Uh, I suppose looking at the paper, Dave Askew is the, the better player. He's, he's travelled uh, most of the world playing in world ranking tournaments. Steve had a great opportunity there to win the first set. And blew Look, at it. Look at this. 180! So setting up that possibility once again, another maximum 80 right at the start of the leg. Psychologically, a body 85. blow for his opponents. Now, the 
Yes, that's one trap. Or two more will set the place alight. One hundred. The spare dart. So this is for the tomorrow. This is the time. Eric, that nine dart five oh one on television really is seeming to be becoming more and more difficult, impossible even. That's not impossible. It's just uh, it's hard. <laughs> Sixty. You've got to hit nine perfect darts. It has to be said that the 147 maximum break in snooker, you can get lucky on that, Eric, and still get it. 140! That's right, you can't get lucky in darts. You've got to put them there. Britain make them day there. Mm -hmm. 180, turn 140. Hundred. Hasn't give up yet. Might be an eleven dart finish here on eighty-one. Will he go sixteen ball though? Steve wants one five six. He's thinking about it. Yeah, he's going to go for it. Wants the ball's eye then. Oh yes. Oh, what a crafty little finish. Twelve darts only there, and that was top bottom. Yes, real class. Dave's fans enjoying it too. And they were even more excited when he took the second set as well by the same score. So Steve Smith not playing badly, but really up against it and struggling already in the third set. He's one leg down facing a possible whitewash. That's a good shot. One seven eight. Ninety. He's, he's left 160. This is a nice shot. So he's going to go down with guns blazing, one suspects Steve Smith. If indeed... Uh... Askew can reply here and leave himself within touching distance of a winning double. 100! Steve requires 160. It's just, sure. a, just a kind of shot that could stop Askew in his tracks. 160. That's the possibility. Another one. Yes, double top. 140 scores! A brilliant attempt. Dave requires 140. Under extreme pressure there, yeah. Uh, Dave, Dave's got to take it out 140. I'd rather be sitting in Steve's shoes. Forty-one. That was a bad last start. Steve it's a ninety-nine. To save the day, double yeah. ten to keep himself alive by the fingernails. Double ten. Yes, yes he's there. Second leg. Great leg under pressure. Also, he goes first in the last leg of this set. Third leg and it's Steve first. So he just like a yeah, nice ton to start with now. Settle him down. He just he just put the pressure on Dave again. Eighty-five. And even if he does lose this tournament, he's played he's played brilliant, hasn't he, Steve? All the way through this tournament. Well, that 160 shot, just as we had uh, predicted, had he managed it indeed by going close, it really did rock the whole situ situation. 100. Just showed his character through the whole tournament there. He doesn't give in, he just keeps going. 100. Pressure's getting a bit to Mr. Askew as well. His, his cheeks are going a bit red. 60. I know it's a bit warm up there, but he's, his face is going all red. 100. Well, one slip could be fatal now for... Steve Smith again, trailing by 55. Still needs this leg. Great last start. Good recovery. Yes. Brave recovery. He's very upset with that second though, wasn't he? Well, Dave's only got a big year. 201 he wants. Yeah. He'd be pleased with him. He's got a nice shot out. Steve can't go out. He wants 175. Dave's 101. Steve's got a real big ear. 
That's a great first up. 115 left. 95. He should come downstairs now for treble 19. Well, he's going to stay there. He's going to stay. Yeah. He's hit a ton. 100. Just hope for a shot now, really, Dave. So again, crucial moments here. 101. 66. He went for the ball last time, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Left 41. Steve requires 75. Yep. For, for the set. It's got to go. It's got to go treble 17, double 12. I think 18 tops then. Double top. What a dart for him. Oh. 55 score. Steve requires 41. For the championship. And now double 16. 25 scores. Just a real whisker away now. He got double 10 last time, Dave. Incredible pressure on this fellow. Double 10. Yeah. Yeah. This just nicked him. Oh. He's still there fighting. First leg, fourth set, and it's Dave. Dave's got to start right. off with a biggie. This is his set. He's got to throw this set. He's got to get it over and done with it. I was asking him. We had him almost counting out the money. No, he's still in there in a battle on his hands. 140! <laughs> 60! So we're in the fourth set. This is the first leg. Dave Askew here. 2 1 up against an opponent who just will 45. not throw in the towel. Bad last start. First two dots were lovely, just above it. And, uh, he just pulled the last one there. He's chewing away at it again. 100. They call him the old plodder. Give me Steve Smith. Well, Plotter, he may be plonker, he certainly is not. 41! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say that, I'd tell you that. Yeah. He's given his more fashionable and uh, informed opponents a real run for his money here, he's just scary. as he did in the semi final. It came through against uh, Nicky Turner. Dave's done exactly the same as he did a leg earlier on. He's hit a 45, 41. Oh, he's just hit a ton. Steve's just gone along. 60 ton, ton. He needs one. He's got a little red bit. Great dart. He's left a shot out. And Dave wants 175. Terrible. 41. Terrible dots. Steve requires one three four. One two six. Now what's he going to do? He might as well stay there for one two six. Eight hundred and six. He stay there again. Yeah, got to do. Unlucky dots. Good dots. He's left ninety one. Steve requires one hundred and thirty four. He's done it last shot as well. 40. That's terrible dots. That's 94. 91. And will he go with 25 or ball here? No, 74, triple 14, double 16. He's got it. Tense moment. Crispy. Very effective shot. Again, okay, not far away. Dave requires 94. Very unfortunate. He's got rid of triple 18 here. Well, he might go 25 or ball. Yeah, 19 ball we go. If he, if he is, that's it, ball. Oh, this would be some shot too, wouldn't it? Oh. 69 oh. on Lucky Day. Steve requires 32. And it's getting just a little dramatic now. Double 16 for Smith to become right back into this final. Yes! 
policeman. First leg, eh? The full set. He's got to throw this leg now. Second leg and it's Steve to throw first. So if he wins this leg and makes his two sets all, he's got to, he's got to throw the last set. So he's really he's back in the driving seat. One hundred. And the Sunbury X Servicemen's Club have been into warm to this guy. He, he, he looked, he had one leg in the grave, but um, vaulted out. And now, oh. 18 unlucky. It's now David Askew who is feeling Dracula's breath. That's right, he's, he's come back very well. He's unlucky second out as well. 60. He's 80 in front. Dave's got a real big ear. Yeah, really. David Askew is being stretched as he could hardly have anticipated. 45. Just the odd sign creeping in that uh, Dave is really feeling the face a bit now, Eric, and the pressure. Yeah, that's right. 100. And Steve's looking more and more aggressive and getting a bit more confidence in himself. 83. Two in front, plus the throw, a nice tongue to him here. He'd be well pleased with that. 60. 100. Just area of target left away, Matt. But enough. Wasn't a bad old duck that third one, Eric. Brilliant duck. Absolutely brilliant. And Dave's got a rip. Two triples really to put him under pressure. One three three left. 113. Will he go to 57? Will he stay there? He's hit a ton. Left 93. But it's Steve requires. Up to Steve there. Once 81. He go either go 45 double 18 or 57 double 12. He's got to go 12 ball now. He's got to go. Right in the middle now. The ball. Here it is. 56. Unlucky. Dave requires that far away, 93. Now, now, he might go for ball or 25 again here for 93. No. 74. He's got to go triple 14. Double 16. 20 to leave tops. 53 scored. Steve requires... 25. Really has become a nerve jangler. 25. Double eight now for the set to square it all up. Seventeen. Dave requires 40. Could be the turning point for Askew. He knows it. Look at the purpose on his face. Loads, loads Dave of pressure. Now nah, Dave, nah, nah, Dave's in the driver's seat again now. He's got the throw. He can't say anything with this game, really, can you? And he'll be looking really to anchor in here. 140! That's the sort of start he wanted. He'll be well pleased with that one. He's got real 140 to stay three yards behind there. 140! A really gallant response. Quite a match, quite a final. Great reply, wasn't it? 100!
level here. 85. But the third dart again saved a desperate situation. He just really wants to keep there behind him. Well, hopefully get in front of him. Even so, just keep close and put the pressure on Dave. So when he does 62. get a shot, at Dave, he's breathing down his neck, puts a bit more pressure on himself. Well, it's beautifully poised now, and uh, Dave Askew. He's got to go downstairs, leave it down. 99! Good shot. Should be the double first. I know, Steve, it's a 140 here. What a good first, are they? Keep the pressure on him, Ned. 140! Left double 18. Well, Dave will be playing his first dart. Goes in the 60th. Yes, tops. it's a tight one. Yes. Double top. Yeah! Marvellous finish. Great game, Dave. Absolutely brilliant. He's there. It's all over as well. Well, David Askew seemed to be coasting. Smith, as always, came gallantly back. A really tight finish, a magnificent shot out under all kinds of pressure. We have got a new champion and a very worthy one. And what a great runner-up. A really super final and jubilation within the Askew camp. Well, what a gripping finale that was. Dave Askew setting off like a train, derailed slightly and then reaching the station bang on time. Steve, never quite kept up with him, did you? Uh, no, but um, I think it's the first set that cost me you know, a good start by missing double eight, and um, so he didn't miss nothing. And uh, just did, did that destroy in. your nerves at that point? You, you looked fairly cool. Um, not really. No, uh, I just kept out of, having a go, like you know, throwing away, and they just kept in front all the time, like you know, I just couldn't keep up with him. As I said, you certainly finished how you started, didn't you? But there was a little bit of a wobble in the middle. Yes, I felt the very first leg. I don't think I started very well, as Steve said, uh, but. Getting through, I felt absolutely lovely, and all I needed was a double to win it on a couple of occasions, and it's the hardest double to hit. And in the end, I just managed to get out of that 100, which... I don't know about just managed, you manufactured that finish perfectly, didn't you? Because he was nosing ahead of you at the time. Yes, uh, I went down for a 19, as I remember, to leave the 100, which is a better shot than 99, and just crossed my fingers that Steve missed the 76 years on, weren't you? Yeah. And Luckily, the 60 went in, and there you were, £2,500 the richer. What, what are you going to do with that? Well, I'm just buying a house, so 